Hello! In today's video, we are going to learn how to ingest data from a REST API to a data warehouse, such as Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, or Google BigQuery using Hevo. Using REST API as a source, we can bring data from a wide array of external applications, outside of the native connections that Hevo already provides. We can connect sources such as Trello, Zendesk, Slack, Asana, etc. The possibilities are limitless. For today's example, we will bring data from Asana using Hevo's REST API as a source. Asana is a web-based project management software. Asana is designed to help teams organize, track, and manage their work. They can do so by creating projects and tasks. Let's say we want to extract the employee tasks and projects from Asana to understand their productivity and behavior. Let's see how we can achieve that using Hevo. Let's navigate to the Data Pipeline Overview page. Click on the Create Pipeline option. On Hevo, we can bring data from a wide array of sources. Let's choose REST API. We can configure a new source by providing the REST API connection details here. First, we need to provide a unique name for the pipeline. Next, we have to add the API endpoint. Hevo supports both GET and POST methods. We will select GET and add the Asana API endpoint which will help us retrieve the data from teams and projects entities within Asana. Since we want the information of our team, we also have to include our team's ID. Let's have a look at the output that we receive from this API endpoint. For that, I'll paste the API endpoint in my browser. The API endpoint has returned a JSON output for all the available tasks and projects in our team. The information is available under the node data. We return back to Hevo to fill the root source configuration field as data. We can authenticate Hevo to access the API data by using two methods, either using a username or password in the basic authentication option or providing authentication details in header parameters. Asana recommends authorization via a personal access token that is passed as a header parameter. Let us go ahead and add that. We can subsequently add query parameters, which will be used to build the API's query string. Let's say we want to bring the data on the projects that the marketing team is working on. To Asana's opt fields query parameter, we will add created date, status, members, and more. Hevo allows us to set the pagination parameters either based on session or page number. Asana's API does not require pagination, so we will leave the pagination field empty. Moving on, we select the destination warehouse where we want to store the ingested data. We can configure a new destination warehouse or select an existing one. The pipeline has been created. In a few minutes, all the data from the REST API will start streaming into Redshift in real time. Now that the pipeline has been created, we can see sample incoming events in the overview page. Here, the data includes a project name and ID. It's a signee name and ID along with the due date and archive status. We have to map these incoming events to Redshift. We can do this by clicking on Schema Mapper. Observe how Hevo automatically detects the source objects and schema from the REST API source. Hevo intelligently infers the schema and data types from the semi-structured source object in the Asana REST API table. Hevo also automatically scans the fields in the source object and suggests the closest data types to which these fields can be mapped in the destination table so that we don't have to do that manually. We can override the suggestions if required. We can now map the data to an existing Redshift destination table or create a new one. Let's create a new table. Click on Add New Table. We need to provide a unique name to the table. Let's call it Asana REST API table. The primary key is a unique identifier for each row entry in the table. On a use case basis, we can select a single entity or a combination of multiple entities as primary key. Let us select Hevo ID as the primary key. Once we're done, we click on Create Table. Hevo shows what query will be run to create the table. We choose this newly created table for this schema. Click on Create Mapping. The data will start moving from the REST API to Redshift. 
If we want to modify the incoming events in the data, say we want to filter the data of certain teams, projects, or tasks in Asana, this can be easily achieved using Hevo's transformations. We are now on the Transformations page. Let us add a simple Python script to skip the data for projects that are archived. These projects will not be loaded into the warehouse. Using the preview window, we can test the code on a sample event and only then deploy. Let's test this. Since the value of the archived field in this project is false, the data will be loaded. Let's test this on another event. Since the value of the archived field in this project is true, the data will not be loaded. Now that we've tested the transformation, let's deploy it. Click on Deploy. The transformation will now be applied to all the future incoming events. If there are any exceptions, such as the destination not being available or changes in the schema of the incoming events, all such records go into a staging area called the replay queue. You're notified of these exceptions in real time over Slack or email. Evo's replay queue allows us to see the details of each exception and also see a sample incoming event to further investigate. Once the error has been fixed, we can replay just these events back into the pipeline without affecting the flow of the rest of the pipeline, ensuring zero data loss. We can skip the events that we don't need. Let us replay all our events into our pipeline. Let us now see how all the data reflects onto Redshift. In Hevo's models, we can write a simple SQL query to view the data in Redshift. Let's create a model and select Redshift Marketing as the destination. We will write a query to view all the data in the Asana REST API table. Let's run this query and see the result. The data has been loaded from Asana's REST API to Redshift. Similarly, we can load data from a variety of REST API sources to any data warehouse using Hevo. It's also very easy to bring data from any source to any data warehouse on Hevo. Head over to your Hevo account and move all your data seamlessly today. Write to us at try at hevodata.com for any queries.